And we're back to HTML canvas. We can create a layered system, but as far as I know, there is no inbuilt method or anything that we could use. But there are two ways that I could think of how to achieve it. We can use the fabric.js. Here I've created a rect1 and rect2. One is blue, two is red. And then I've just used the add method in the end to my canvas. And I've first added rect2, which is the red, and then rect1, which is the blue. And this is why blue is on top of red. But if I change the order, red is now on top of blue. So the width is way bigger when it's layered like this. You may want to pause the video and then recode it step by step. A different way to do it without fabric. Let me just paste my code here on the script. We still use my canvas. And here we have our canvas CDX to use your stuff. Then I've created two objects, rect1 and rect2, and I've given it the property layer. Value 1 for blue, value 2 for red. And if I make the blue one layer value 3, this is going to appear in front of the red one. So this is also an option to achieve this layered effect. Here we have an array of rectangles. And important is the draw rectangles function. It uses a sort method, A and B. In our case, this is our rectangle, so rect1 and rect2. And we'll use the layer property to sort it lowest to highest. And this is why this layered system works. Below we have a for loop to just give all of the values to our objects that we are actually going to draw. So our two rectangles, they're getting the color and their specific sizes and positions here. But important is the sort method that I've used. And it sorts through the value of the layer property in the object and then arranges them in such a way that the lowest layer is at the bottom and the highest layer, so the highest value for it, is on top. Once again, pause the video, try to recode it, and this is how I would create a layered system in HTML canvas. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.